Salar de Uyuni, or Salar de Tunupa, is the world's largest salt flat, or playa, at over 10,000 square kilometers, 3,900 square miles, in area. It is in the Daniel Campos province in Potosi in southwest Bolivia, near the crest of the Andes at an elevation of 3,656 meters, 11,995 feet, above sea level. The Salar was formed as a result of transformations between several prehistoric lakes that existed around 40,000 years ago but had all evaporated over time. It is now covered by a few meters of salt crust, which has an extraordinary flatness with the average elevation variations within one meter over the entire area of the Salar. The crust serves as a source of salt and covers a pool of brine, which is exceptionally rich in lithium. The large area, clear skies, and exceptional flatness of the surface make the Salar ideal for calibrating the altimeters of Earth observation satellites. Following rain, a thin layer of dead calm water transforms the flat into the world's largest mirror, 129 kilometers, 80 miles, across. The Salar serves as the major transport route across the Bolivian Altiplano and is a prime breeding ground for several species of flamingos. Salar de Uyuni is also a climatological transitional zone since the towering tropical cumulus congestus and cumulonimbus incus clouds that form in the eastern part of the salt flat during the summer cannot permeate beyond its drier western edges, near the Chilean border and the Atacama Desert. Salar has been used as a filming location for movies such as Star Wars, The Last Jedi, 2017, as Planet Crate, The Fall, 2006. Salt and Fire, 2016. The Unseen, 2017, and several others. Salar de Uyuni is a popular tourist destination, and consequently a number of hotels have been built in the area. Due to lack of conventional construction materials, many of them are almost entirely walls, roof, furniture, built with salt blocks cut from the Salar. The first such hotel, named Palacio de Sal, was erected in 1993-1995 in the middle of the Salt Flat, and soon became a popular tourist destination. However, its location in the center of a desert caused sanitation problems, as most waste had to be collected manually. Mismanagement caused serious environmental pollution and the hotel had to be dismantled in 2002. One major tourist attraction is an antique train cemetery. It is 3 kilometers 1.9 miles outside Uyuni and is connected to it by the old train tracks. The town served in the past as a distribution hub for the trains carrying minerals en route to Pacific Ocean ports. The rail lines were built by British engineers arriving near the end of the 19th century and formed a sizable community in Uyuni. The engineers were invited by the British-sponsored Antofagasta and Bolivia Railway Companies, now Ferrocarril de Antofagasta of Bolivia. The rail construction started in 1888 and ended in 1892. It was encouraged by Bolivian President Aniceto Arce, who believed Bolivia would flourish with a good transport system, but it was also constantly sabotaged by the local Aymara indigenous Indians who saw it as an intrusion into their lives. The trains were mostly used by the mining companies. In the 1940s, the mining industry collapsed, partly because of mineral depletion. Many trains were abandoned, producing the train cemetery. There are proposals to build a museum from the cemetery. The Salar is virtually devoid of any wildlife or vegetation. The latter is dominated by giant cacti, Echinopsis atacamensis posicana, Echinopsis terragensis, etc. They grow at a rate of about 1 cm, a to a height of about 12 meters, 39 feet. Other shrubs include Pelea, which is used by locals to cure catarr, and Tholip vaccarist dracunculifolia, which is burned as a fuel. Also present are quinoa plants and canua bushes. Every November, Salarda. Uyuni is the breeding ground for three South American species of flamingo feeding on local brine shrimps, the Chilean, Andean, and rare James's flamingos. About 80 other bird species are present, including the horned coot, Andean goose, and Andean hillstar. The Andean fox, or culpeo, is also present, and islands in the Salar, in particular Incahuasi Island, host colonies of rabbit-like viscaches. Salar means salt flat in Spanish. Uyuni originates from the Aymara language and means a pen, enclosure, Uyuni is a surname and the name of a town that serves as a gateway for tourists visiting the Salar. Thus Salar de Uyuni can be loosely translated as a salt flat with enclosures, the latter possibly referring to the islands of the Salar, or as salt flat at Uyuni, the town named pen for animals. Aymara legend tells that the mountains Tunupa, 
Cusco, and Casina, which surround the Salar, were giant people. Tunupa married Cusco, but Cusco ran away from her with Casina. Grieving Tunupa started to cry while breastfeeding her son. Her tears mixed with milk and formed the Salar. Many locals consider the Tunupa an important deity and say that the place should be called Salar de Tunupa rather than Salar de Uyuni. The geological history of the Salar is associated with a sequential transformation between several vast lakes. Some 30,000 to 42,000 years ago, the area was part of a giant prehistoric lake, Lake Minchin. Its age was estimated by radiocarbon dating shells from outcropping sediments and carbonate reefs and varies between reported studies. Lake Minchin, named after Juan B. Minchin of Oro, later transformed into Paleo Lake Taka having a maximal depth of 140 meters, 460 feet, and an estimated age of 13,000 to 18,000 or 14,900 to 26,100 years, depending on the source. The youngest prehistoric lake was Koipasa, which was radiocarbon dated to 11,500 to 13,400 years ago. When it dried, it left behind two modern lakes, Pupo and Uru Uru, and two major salt deserts, Salar de Koipasa and the larger Salar de Uyuni. Salar de Uyuni spreads over 10,582 square kilometers, which is roughly 100 times the size of the Bonneville Salt Flats in the United States. Lake Pupo is a neighbor of the much larger Lake Titicaca. During the wet season, Titicaca overflows and discharges into Pupo, which in turn, floods Salar de Koipasa and Salar de Uyuni. Lacustrine mud that is interbedded with salt and saturated with brine underlies the surface of Salar de Uyuni. The brine is a saturated solution of sodium chloride, lithium chloride, and magnesium chloride in water. It is covered with a solid salt crust varying in thickness between tens of centimeters and a few meters. The center of the Salar contains a few islands, which are the remains of the tops of ancient volcanoes submerged during the era of Lake Minchin. They include unusual and fragile coral-like structures and deposits that often consist of fossils and algae.